What's up guys, I'm Ravi KK and welcome to another Java Swings tutorial. And in this video we are gonna see what are grid layouts. Okay, in a previous video we saw what flow layouts were. Uh, it pretty much was uh, first come first serve basis like uh, the the component that you add uh, the first uh, will appear at the top left and uh, top left corner. Okay, so that was the simplest layout manager. As I said, that was the simplest layout manager that I've ever seen. Okay, so even this is a, a very easy one. This is also a simple uh, layout manager. Uh, nothing has uh, changed uh, uh, from the last uh, video. Uh, what I've did is just change this uh, to new grid layout and pass two parameters uh, to this. Okay, so what is grid layout? It pretty much places the swings components in a matrix format. Now I hope you know what is a matrix. Uh, no need to tell the matrix has rows and columns. Okay, even here I have uh, given uh, two parameters that is rows and columns. Three rows, two columns. Okay, so even in this video we are gonna uh, create a login screen that has a username and password label, text boxes, and two buttons. Okay. So I'll place uh, those uh, six components in a matrix format. That is three in a three rows and a two columns format. Okay, so let's run this code. Uh, okay, so th there is nothing much uh, to explain in this uh, video. Also, in case of grid layouts, it has uh, uh, two parameters. It in fact it has four parameters. Uh, I'll explain you what is uh, the third and the fourth parameter within a few seconds. Okay, for now, just see. This is the first parameter. This is the second parameter. That is three rows and two columns. So let's run this code. Okay, so this is a login screen. Now you can look at this. It has a f first uh, row, second row, third row, and two columns as we have specified it over here. Okay, and adding it accordingly sequentially. That is a label, then a label, the username labels text box, then password, then passwords, uh, text box. Okay, text field. Uh, yeah, sorry. And th the third and fourth parameter is uh, the horizontal gaps between the components, and the fourth parameter is vertical gaps between the components. Okay, so in this case, I'll uh, give a parameter as uh, 30, 30. So let's run this code again. These are the uh, gaps between the uh, the uh, swings components. So okay, yeah. so the there is a gap between these components. Okay, as you see. Okay, so this is what grid layout is. So th just keep in mind, grid layout is nothing but placing the swings components in a matrix format. Okay, so it has it takes four parameters. That is the the rows, then the number of rows, the number of columns. Then uh, vertical, uh, sorry, horizontal gap between the components and uh, vertical gaps between the components. Okay, and adding the uh, swings components as it is. Okay, so there's nothing much to explain uh, in case of uh, uh, what is grid layouts. Okay, so that's it for this video, and I hope you like this video. So that's it for this video, and uh, see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'll be discussing what are uh, grid back. Uh, layout okay so thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe comment if you have any doubt so bye